guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii! So it's been a while since I did a Daiso video and I thought I would do a shop with me at Daiso and today we're going to check out the kitchen and home section and at the end I'll be doing a haul of everything I got that day including some cute stationery items so make sure to stay tuned for that. So lately Daiso has this new cherry line out and it feels very retro 1950s kind of like Mad Men era to me for some reason. I think that the gingham check is really cute and it just seems very retro and bright and summery and just perfect for this time of year that we're coming up on. And then they had this section with all of these fake flowers and I'm not sure if this was for White Day or for Mother's Day. I mean personally I would prefer to get real flowers over this but these will last you forever. Let me know what you think of fake flowers. I guess they're a pretty low maintenance decoration. Daiso Korea also sells some real plants and they have a lot of cute little pots. I ended up getting a large one for my orchid. And here we are at the kitchen goods area, which is one of my favorite areas. I love looking at all the new cute things that they have here. And home cafes are trending lately. I don't know if you've seen my YouTube video on how to make your own Korean cafe at home, but some people use these giant ice cubes and put flowers in them or other pretty things. And just using ice in different shapes can really spruce up your drinks a little bit. These water bottles look like tumblers that you could buy at Starbucks. I like this section over here which has items that are made out of wood and it seems like whenever you go to a tropical island like in the Caribbean or Hawaii, they sell these wooden items. But if you look on the back, they're all made in the Philippines or made in Vietnam. And I think they sell the same ones at Daiso for much cheaper. Sienna has been into making meals for our family lately and she likes to make it fancy and put it on a little tray like this. So I came here to get a couple of trays for her to use when she makes dinner for our family. It's not anything really difficult, it's not cooking, she just uses simple things that we have on hand, but um, she's into that lately. By the way, I think Daiso is a great place to get dishes for kids. I have some that I got my kids years ago when we lived in Japan and we still use them today. They're always changing things up, so if you see something you like, you should get it. This is a tray that kids use when they go to Yuchuan or Korean preschool, and they get served rice, soup, kimchi, and three side dishes. Here's Daiso's selection of trays, and I feel like Asians tend to use trays for a lot of different things. I remember my grandma would use it as a cutting board in the family room, and she would cut up fruit for us and just put it on the tray. If you're a student and you're moving to Korea to study abroad, I think that Daiso is a great place to come to get dishes because everything is really cheap. It's only 1,000 won or maybe 3,000 won at the most, which is one to three US dollars per item. And I think that's even cheaper than Ikea. They even have wine glasses and champagne glasses and martini glasses and all these different types of cups. They also have lots of little decorative bowls and dishes and I think this is great if you're into doing a home cafe and you want to just spruce it up a little bit. I think that these little trays and trinket dishes are my favorite. I think that they're great for putting your rings and jewelry on and also you can use them as a spoon rest but you always want to make sure to read the back of these things to make sure they're food safe. Daiso Design Lab will often do special collections like a peach collection or a unicorn collection and sometimes some of the items won't sell but they won't make them anymore and they'll usually put the leftover pieces in this area so if you're trying to find like an old collection then you might be able to find it just randomly in the store. Something that I was really tempted to get were these Japanese looking dishes because they kind of remind me of when you go to a Japanese restaurant They'll separate all of the little pickled side dishes and salads and just all the different things into separate bowls so that they don't touch each other. And I think that prevents the flavors from mixing maybe, but they put all these little dishes on a tray and it looks so pretty. 
and I kind of like to have my food separated in that way. It just feels nice to not have the flavors mix sometimes, even though they all get mixed up in your stomach anyway. But it's just a lot of extra dishes to do, so I don't know. I didn't get any of those bowls. Over here they have the coffee and tea items, and I think those little cups with the tops are actually for chawanmushi, which is that really soft Japanese egg. This is really cheap for a French press. I always like to come and look at the kids' utensils. 3,000 won for this kid's spoon fork set. And these are cases that kids use to bring their spoon and chopsticks to school. In Korea, you're supposed to bring your own utensils to preschool. I've been eyeing this marble slab for a while. This is only 5,000 won or 5 US dollars. And I think this would be um, great to put into some of my YouTube videos. This peeler with the bunny on it reminds me of the rice spatula that they sell at Frank Frank, which is a Japanese store. Daiso has so many different types of tongs. I think that these ones with the hands are super adorable. I think that these are chocolate molds. And over here they have all of these squeeze bottles. We got one for our honey and also for soy sauce. Time for a haul! So these are little things that you can wrap up your cords with to sort of make them look a little bit neater and not so messy. I always like to stock up on birthday cards and just any occasion cards so that when it's somebody's birthday, I don't have to worry about going to the store to get one. I just have something on hand that I could use. And these are a really good deal. I think that there are two cards in one pack, so it's only 50 cents a card. And some of these are really pretty, and I like how they also come with a seal. Four pastel colored box cutters for only 1,000 won. This was such a great deal. I got these envelopes to give to people when I'm gifting money. They have a little spot for a note right here. I thought that these gift tags were super pretty and classy. And this is a stationery set. I don't know why I got this. I am kind of a stationery addict, but I thought this was so adorable. And here are some little envelopes that have cute animals on them. I got these for Sienna because she likes to draw and then have a little conversation bubble. This is a card that also doubles as a scrapbook, so it's called a photo scrap card. And it comes with these stickers that you can use to decorate the different pages. So I got two different cards, and then the stickers are so pretty, they have a little bit of shimmer to them. And then inside, you just have a bunch of white pages. So you can draw, or write a note, or add some photos. I think it's really cute. I got these little cardboard boxes in case I want to give somebody a baked good or handmade sweet and I think this is a really cute wrapper. These boxes were so pretty, I had to get them. They remind me of the Lagerie Macaroon branding, just something from a classy French bakery and I think they're so pretty. And these ones are a little bit cuter, I think that the puppy and the bunny are super cute and you can use this to give a gift or put in some little treats and give them to friends or neighbors. This is just a giant roll of pink washi tape and I know that we'll use this. These are cherry blossom pencils and I just thought they were so pretty. This was only a dollar and when you sharpen the pencil, the shavings are supposed to look like cherry blossom petals. All of this washi tape for only 3,000 won or 3 US dollars. This is such a steal. This pencil lid was insanely cheap, three packs for 1,000 won. I love this iridescent washi tape, I think it's so pretty. Do you guys remember this star paper? Back when I was in high school or college, girls used to make this for guys that they liked and they would make 1,000 stars. We were running low on our origami paper and my kids like to use this for their projects, so I got um, two packs of big paper and two packs of small paper. It was only 2,000 won for a pack. Valentina picked out this cute little sticker book for my niece and then for my nephew who really likes the movie Cars, we got him these little notebooks that he can practice writing in. 
This is a glass deco kit that I got for my niece and nephew and it's sort of like glue that you put onto plastic sheets and you can make these designs and then stick them on your window. My family has been really into playing bingo lately so we got some of these cards but the numbers go up to 80 and I realized that my set only goes up to 60. I'm always in need of black permanent markers so I got these. If you guys saw my Korean stationery video, they have a more vintage version that actually comes in a glass bottle which is really cool. So whenever I see a new flavor of almond, I always like to try it. These are not made by Tom's Honey Butter Almond Farm which is the main most well-known manufacturer of the flavored almonds and I think these are just okay. This is a Muscat grape flavor. So I have a bottle brush, but sometimes when I clean out my bottles, there's a little bit of residue on the side of the bottle that's hard to get to. So I thought that this sponge would be really good at getting to that. So I've done a couple of home cafe videos on my channel and just wanted a couple of other glasses that I could use in my videos. So I got the tall glass and also this little beaker that looks like a chemistry beaker and you can just pour things out of it. We're always in need of extra containers for kimchi and Korean side dishes and I thought this one was a nice quality one. It was a little bit more expensive than the others but it seems like it's more durable. I got these wooden spoons because we like using these to eat our yogurt and granola. Daiso Korea has a really nice selection of hangers and I got these ones for my kids. Sienna picked out the pink and blue ones and this was only 2,000 won for I think 7 hangers. And Valentina picked out the yellow and orange ones. And these are a little bit smaller than the adult hangers and they're perfect for kids and I think they're so pretty. Here's the wooden tray. I got two of these so this is perfect for the kids serving my husband and I breakfast in bed. I got two sets of tongs. Aren't these purple ones the cutest thing ever? We use these to take the side dishes out of the containers and put them onto our plate. And I did end up getting this $5 marble slab. I'm planning on using this in some of my YouTube videos and then when I'm done I'll just put it in my room to sort of showcase items that I really like. And last but not least is this section case. I use this to store my beads and jewelry making supplies and I just needed an extra one. If you guys enjoyed that, check out these playlists right here for more shopping at Daiso videos. And I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons and channel members for supporting me. You guys are the best. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!